Hey everyone, welcome to my bedroom. Different filming location for today. Today I'm doing a video I've been waiting to make for a while. I've been trying some things out for this. So I'd asked you guys literally three months ago on my Instagram, which is at it's Jessica Braun. What were those Facebook and Instagram ads that you see over and over again that you've always been curious about, but maybe they were pricey or you just weren't sure about it because it was like a subscription type thing and you wanted someone to try it out and let you know, well, I was that guinea pig for everyone today and for myself, because frankly, I was curious about all these too. And I'm here to tell you whether they're worth it or not. Some of them I have some really strong feelings about both positive and negative, so I can't wait to share with you guys. A lot of these I've been trying for the past three months, and so I definitely have had some interesting experience. I do have referral links for a lot of these. With any of the referral links I have, they're ones that any, they're referral links anyone can get. It's not because I'm on YouTube. So like if you have an account, you can share your own referral link. A lot of these give you guys like $20 off or 20% off, so I will have all of that below. Please don't feel pressured to use any of the referral links. I have them there. If you wanna use them, great. If not, you are certainly welcome to just go to the sites on your own. So. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, water, whatever, and let's dive in. So we're gonna start with the thing that was probably the most requested for me to try, and that were that was, those were, that were, these flats, okay, from Rothy's. These are very expensive. They have a bunch of different styles. The two most famous styles are the point ones, which is what I have here. These are $145. I know, I know, I know. I can't even believe I spent that much on these. But then they also have ones that are just like a, a rounded toe. Those are, I think, 125, so they're a little bit cheaper. Here's what they were touting in most of their ads, that these are made of eco-friendly materials. They're supposed to be the most comfortable flat, and not only that, but they're machine washable and really durable. So they're supposed to last you a long time. You literally take the insole out, you throw them all in the washer together, and then you let it air dry, and they're supposed to be as good as new. Okay. If you have very normal feet, I think you'd love these. If you have the expendable income or you're really needing flats, maybe you're on your feet all the time and you need good flats, I think these are fantastic. They are, I can see why these are comfortable and why it would be worth the money, okay? Here's the thing, if your feet are even slightly wide, don't get these. I was past the return window, so they wouldn't let me return them. I was even chatting with them online and they're like, sorry, no, which stinks because I got a half size up. So my normal size is seven and a half. They recommend on their site, if you have wider feet for this style and the other style, they say it on there, order a half size up. So I did. These are still way, way, way too tight on me right there. I don't, I don't have abnormally wide feet. Like I don't typically need to get wide width in shoes, but these I'm telling you are so narrow. And here's the thing, I didn't wanna believe that. Cause I'm like, okay, like I was reading some of the reviews and people were like, yeah, if you have wide feet, but I'm like, my feet are probably fine. It'll be fine. So then I wore them and I kept trying to break them in. But then when I was looking at their site again, it does say there's supposed to be zero break in required. So I'm like, okay, so I'm trying to break these in. They, are, they were killing my feet. These have so many positive reviews and I really think that most of them are from people that just have more normal width feet. So like I said, I think these are nice shoes. They're built to last, they're very well made. You can feel the comfort in them unless you have wide feet. I feel weird, like I feel like I can't be myself in my bedroom. The one other nice thing about Rothy's, if you were interested, they do have free shipping and free returns on all orders, again, within that 30 day window. So that's nice, you kind of feel like, well, you could try it and at least be able to decide for yourself whether you like them or not and return them and you're not paying for shipping both ways. So this next one, I. I don't have up here with me, it's huge anyway, I couldn't hold it, but I will show you some clips of it. It is the Away luggage. So I only own one of them. I bought the medium one. So they have a carry-on, a larger carry-on, the medium, and then I think it's called the large. And then they have other accessories and travel stuff. Listen, these are freaking expensive. If you travel a lot though, which is why I was interested in them, I was like, well, maybe I'll just give it a try. And Honestly, I'm glad I did. It was an investment, but this is one of those things they have, a, it's a limited warranty, but they do have a warranty on it. So if things go wrong, they will fix it. Not only that, but these are some durable, durable things. The one I have, I got in the blush shade and I love, it does get dirty when you check it, which it's the one I got is a larger like checked bag kind of suitcase. It gets really dirty, but they actually send you, I think I have it right in here, don't I? It comes with like basically a mat, it's from Away, but it's like a magic eraser that will get all the scuffs off and it does work. So again, you could also just use a magic eraser. But that's nice because if you are checking it, you know it's gonna get dirty, especially if you pick a lighter color. So it's it's just kind of smart, really. But that aside, mine has gone through on so many trips in the past year. It's gone to Europe, gotten lost in Europe, was shipped like to three different cities in three different countries via a cruise. I mean, it was like the most, wild adventure that suitcase like if there was a movie of that suitcase coming to life and explaining its adventure i would watch it it 
has gone through heck and back and boy is that suitcase still in like pristine condition other than the scuffs that I need to get off. I really like the inside organization. It's not like anything that different than other suitcases. So one thing I will say, if you can't afford it, don't buy it. And on top of that, Cowpack is another brand I love and a lot of our other suitcases are Cowpack. And you can get those at Nordstrom Rack for like way cheaper than than the normal price of Calpac, but also way cheaper than these Away prices. Very, very similar, lots of color options and size options. The one thing that Away has going for it, and I know a few other brands are starting to do this too, is that their carry-on bags, which I don't personally own, those have like a battery in them where you can charge your phone up to like four times. So if you're someone that does travel a lot and you that would be important to you, I think that's pretty cool. Another nice thing with this brand is that you can travel with it and use it and see how you like it. And then you still have a hundred days, even if you've travel with it to return it and they will let you, which I think is really nice because that is a big investment and something that hopefully you would use a lot, but you wanna make sure you like it enough. And so it's really cool that they give you that time, they allow you to travel with it and use it and then decide whether you wanna keep it or not. So I think for me, the bottom line is I really love it. I don't know that I need to buy a bunch of them because I mean, it is a suitcase and hopefully I shouldn't need to replace it anytime soon. I like that I feel like it's a good size for me where if we're going on a long week or two week trip, I can fit a lot of my stuff. I can fit some of my daughter's stuff in there. You can squeeze a lot more in it than you think, which is nice. The zipper and the wheels and the handles are so sturdy. They're like the sturdiest ones I've ever used. And that I appreciate too, because those are the kinds of things that can break when you're on a trip and it's scary, you know what I mean? So I do have a $20 off link, the referral link you can get on the site I have below. I love it. I could see myself maybe one day investing in the carry-on with the charger. Right now I have a carry-on, I think it's from Calpac, that is just wonderful, it works just fine. But like if that ever broke, I could see myself investing in another one of these. Okay, let's talk Fabletics. I've had an interesting experience with this. Now, there I've heard horror stories about Fabletics. It's not that deep, but I have had a slightly negative experience with this. So let me let me tell you it from the beginning. So their gimmick is that you go on their site for the first time and you can get two leggings for $24. Their leggings are expensive. They're like near Lululemon prices, maybe not quite as high. So it says it's like a $99 value, okay. The nice thing is you really can get on there. You really do get that price. It's really cool. They have tons of options, tons of patterns and colors and different types of leggings. But what that does, and they do have it all on there. So you can read it, all the fine print and see it. Basically, it signs you up for a VIP membership, meaning that once a month, they're gonna charge your account $49.95 or 50 bucks, and that gives you that credit on their site to use. So it's taken out of your bank account automatically. Here's my thing. I don't mind subscriptions when it's something that I need all of the time, like feminine products, food, razors, which we're gonna talk about in a minute, because I'm using it all the time. So it's something that is a consumable and I will need replenish. But with like leggings and stuff, I don't need that many. You know what I mean? I'm, I wish I were running that much, but I'm not. So it just feels like kind of a waste of money. Here's the deal. You can skip months, which is very nice. You just get on, it's really easy. You click skip this month, no problem. Easy peasy, but you have to remember to do it, you know? And so for me, if you're busy, I don't think this is a good option. So here's what I would recommend. You get on. You get the two for 24 deal. I think you get like free shipping. You get 50% off of other stuff. So I ended up buying a couple shirts at that 50% off rate. Order what you want, buy it, get it sent to you, try it on, make any returns or exchange if you need. Once that's all done, then get on, get on their online chat and cancel with them. I canceled with them literally today because I wanted to know what that process was like before I sat down and filmed this. And I said, hey, I've got a couple credits on there and one credit is $50. So it's like a big deal. And I'm like, hey, I've got a couple credits on there. Is there any way I can cancel my VIP membership, that monthly membership, and can I get my credits back? You know, she's going through the rigmarole of, oh, well, you, if you do this, do you want me to set up a reminder email? I'm thinking that should have been a thing from the beginning. What do you mean do I, yeah, but anyway. I'm like, no, thank you, just please cancel it. She's like, all right, I respect your decision, I'll <laughs> cancel. The whole conversation was honestly kind of funny, but she said those credits were a part of your membership contract, so you can't get those back, but they're still available on the site for you to use, and I'm like, Okay, I figure, well, I'll get, I'll just get a couple more things and be done with it. All of that to say, the leggings are nice quality. The one struggle I had beyond that was finding leggings I actually liked. I did buy a few, returned a few, because I just, I still haven't really landed on one pair of leggings from Fabletics that I love. And I've tried like five different kinds. A lot of them are a really high compression style. And it's not like the Lululemon Align ones that I love. Those are expensive, but I feel like I can, I'm wearing some literally right now. With these, they feel like comfortable to wear. I don't feel like they're, I feel like they're holding me in, but I can breathe. 
Whereas a lot of the Fabletics ones, even the ones that were lighter compression, still felt like I couldn't breathe when I sat down. So I'm not totally sold. I think the leggings are high quality. I do think they're nice, but it's hard to find the ones you want. If you have a store near you, because they do have Fabletics stores, it might be worth going in and actually trying some on. So I'm popping in here just to say that if I had to pick a favorite Fabletics one, it'd be these Oasis high-waisted ones. They have like the pockets, which is kind of nice. And a lot of them have the pockets, but these feel a lot more like what I want in leggings where there's a little bit of compression, but you can breathe. You know what I mean? It's a little bit more comfortable up here. So just if you were curious, if you were wanting to do like the two for 24, this is what I prefer and would recommend. So bottom line, I'm glad I canceled. Probably not gonna join again. Nice quality leggings. I would say just get the deal online, then cancel. Okay, one of my favorites, the thing, this is gonna be silly. Th these last few ones I'm so excited about and they were ones that I'm like, I'm so glad I've discovered these. I am a changed woman. This first one, okay. I saw this and I was so annoyed seeing it. The Billy Razor. It is $9 for like their starter pack. What you get is a handle, like the razor handle. You got like five or six different color choices. I chose the, the blush color. You get the little magnetic holder, which I'll show you here on the screen right now. Really, really neat. It just sticks to your shower wall. It has not fallen off. I've had it for three months now. And this just magnetizes so lovely to it. It's so satisfying, if you will. And then you get two razors to go with it. So all of that nine bucks sent to your door, free shipping. You never pay for shipping at all with this company. But what you also sign up for is, I wanna say subscription. I guess that is technically what it is, but you choose how frequently. I chose three months, which is the least frequent. Every three months, they'll send me four new razor cartridges, not the handle, but the actual little razor for nine bucks. No shipping, they automatically send it. So I just the other day got my four razors in the mail, which was perfect timing. Even four razors every three months, I think is a little much. Again, you can skip though. You can change your frequency, you can get online and skip. It's really easy. So you can get the four razors shipped to you every month, which would be insane. Every two months or every three months. Like I said, I did every three months. These blades are so sharp. The first time I used it, I was like, but I had the smoothest shave of my life. And I, I would like to think I kind of spend a lot of money on razors. Like I get the nice Gillette ones, whatever the newest kind is, you know, and A, they're kind of pricey. They're definitely pricier than this when you really break it down. On top of that, these work better. These work so much better. Honestly, the first week it took some just adjusting because it was a different razor and it was sharper than I was used to. I had a few nicks, but after that first week, I've not had a single nick or cut since. These are incredible. I've had the smoothest shave. It is so easy. It's one of those things that frankly, I don't replace my razors enough and I really should. And this is kind of a nice reminder like, oh yeah, I probably should re replace my razor. So bottom line for me, I love it. I'm gonna continue to use it. What I'll probably do, cause I, I feel like one razor a month is plenty. And if I've got four for the next three months, really I could probably skip the next one and then have it start the next month, you know what I mean? I just, I really like it. I was kind of surprised at how much I liked it, but here we are. The next one I'm really pumped about too. And again, I was very skeptical because of the price point. Have you seen the ads for Bombas or Bombas? I think it's Bombas socks. Okay, I have. And well, Zac Efron was one of the spokespeople for it. So I was like, well. <laughs> This is what they look like. They have so many, so many different colors, design. They have ankle socks, no-show socks, longer socks, crew socks, compression socks. They've got it all. Whatever kind of sock you can dream up, they probably sell it. These bad boys are the most I've ever spent on socks ever. $12 a pair. I'm aware, I know, I know, I know. I only bought a couple for obvious reasons. And plus I was like, I'm not even sure I'm gonna like these. Here's the deal. This is a cool company. For every pair that you buy, they donate a pair. I guess this company, if you look at their like about section, and the founders discovered that the number one highest requested thing for homeless shelters was socks. They were kind of, the wheels started turning. And so it took a couple years of like market research to design what they think is the perfect sock. These have lasted through a lot of washes. They faded maybe a little bit, but not really a ton. The ones that faded the most, I think were these like lighter color. I got like this pink. And of course they just show wear a little bit more. Here's the thing. You put on one of these pairs of socks and I have been a true blue lover of the C9. I can link them below. They're great too, but they're not in the same league as this. The Target C9 socks that I think are wonderful. You get like a six pack for under 20 bucks. Good socks, but I do need to replace them. They do wear down and then they get a hole in them. 
I have worn the crap out of these and these have not worn at all. They're like fitted around like your arch, but then they're like padded where they need to be. They actually stay up when you run. Now they have running socks. I've not tried those. And those are like $18 instead of 12. Their regular ankle socks are my personal favorite. And these, even though they're not touted as running socks, stay up so well when I'm running. So if you're looking for like really nice, really durable ones, these are them, man. I know you can save a little bit of money. They have like, I wanna say like six packs on there, like bundles, where you do save like 5%, so you're saving a little bit. They, I think their referral thing, you can get 25% off with my link below. I know you can also just get 20% just like on their site via, you know, like if you sign up for emails. So something to consider, but I'm going to buy more. I can tell you that right now, because my C9 ones I got a few months ago are already wearing out. So I think I'm gonna buy a couple more of these, and I really like the ones with like the honeycomb design there, so I think I would go with these. Kind of one of those things that they're expensive, and I almost felt like I was making an investment in socks, which as I'm ordering it, I was like, this is silly. Like, am I making a huge mistake? But they're already lasting longer than the cheaper socks that I bought at the same time, and I'm wearing them like at the same rate, so. Just saying, maybe it is worth it if you're not having to replace them as often. Next thing is this mascara. Now, I've actually already talked about this a lot on my channel, but the reason I bought it in the first place was actually for this video, because so many of you guys asked, like, is this Thrive mascara that I keep seeing on Facebook worth it? Listen, I try a lot of makeup. That's like what my channel used to only be about, right? And this is, um, wow, like a mascara in a league of its own. It's $24, you can only buy it on the Thrive website or Apparently now Ulta is selling it, but not online. It's like only in some stores. So you could check and see if it's available at your store. The magic of this is that it is a different formula than most mascaras. It's a tubing mascara, meaning that when you apply it to your lashes, it is gonna coat around a bunch of different lashes and instantly volumize. I'm telling you, it holds a curl all day. It doesn't flake. Like if you always get black flakies and smudges, it doesn't do that. It's a totally different formula. You have to have like warm water to remove it and that it just slides right off the lashes. You guys, it is an incredible mascara. I have it on today. I'll show you a clip of me applying it actually yesterday because I mentioned it in another video this week. You can see it instantly applies. It is so gorgeous, so easy to use. I couldn't believe how much I like this. This is definitely something I'm going to buy for myself again. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's that good, you guys. And honestly, I've had this now three, over three months. It feels like the day I bought it. So where some mascaras dry out after three months, I feel like you could probably get six months out of it. We're gonna see, I'm gonna keep trying it. But I feel like even though you're paying more, you're getting more uses out of it, so it might still be worth it. Cause some drugstore mascaras are still like 10 or $12. So if you're replacing it every three months, then you might as well buy this. Another cool thing about this company, I feel like there's a lot of just cool companies here. Every purchase, they're donating to help a woman thrive, hence the name Thrive Cosmetics. So they mention, sorry, I've got my notes here. Helping women in homelessness, domestic abuse, cancer, people that are just out of the middle, women that are just out of the military. Really cool company, amazing product, will definitely buy again, highly recommend. And did I say it holds a curl really well all day? Like the way it looks once I put it on is exactly the way it looks when I take it off. I hope this was helpful and enjoyable. If I could see myself doing another, you know, updated version of this, maybe in a year, maybe even less, if there are more ads, more things you guys are interested in, um, I love that it's kind of a weird mix of things. It's not all makeup or not all clothes. It's just kind of a lot of different things. Let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up. I hope you'll subscribe. I do three videos a week, beauty and lifestyle here on my channel. And I also would love to say hi to you guys on my social media. It is at it's Jessica Braun everywhere. And other than that, I'll see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Why did my hand, it was like limp.